There, is that a candle? Oh man, I bet that's an expensive candle. Let's see. I see. This looks like Polish pottery, maybe. Yep, sure is. Oh my goodness, a whole bag of wood stuff here. Oh, I know what this is. Found a little bird with a nest. Press here, what do you do? Oh, the vases look promising. Look at this guy. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. It has been an amazing weekend in Lake Tahoe and uh, we're on our way up to Virginia City and uh, we spotted a Goodwill. So I'm going to go on this Goodwill. Uh, where are we? Are we in Carson City? We're in Carson City uh, and there is a Goodwill. Uh, there's a sign there. And uh, let's go in. Let's see what we can find. Let's get shop done. Let's see. We have, oh look, I really feel like this this is the lucky cart right here yeah let's let's oh my goodness this is a big cart okay this is a huge this is a huge shopping cart we'll go with it let's peek in this case right as we come in these ships caught my eye 29.99 14.99 and 19.99 they are cool yeah, we may find nothing, we may find a lot. So the hard goods are all the way back in the back here. It's a much bigger Goodwill than it looked like from the outside, so that's encouraging. Well, let's get back here and see. Oh my gosh, I see shelves and shelves of good things. How fun. Oh, I like this. I like this little mailbox mounted on onyx. I don't, oh, there's a price, $9.99. You know what, I actually don't think that's a bad price. Um, these were very, very popular, like, I wanna say 70s, 70s art. But this one's actually functional. You could put business cards or something in it. So I think that's gonna be my first uh, Carson City pickup. You know, I love me some sunflowers. Those actually came from the 99 cent store. They write things on their items. That'll be interesting. That is, uh, it's just an acorn. Wait, what are you? A wishbone. A wishbone. Trinket box. Mm -hmm. See, I see. This looks like Polish pottery, maybe. Yep, sure is. Handmade in Poland. Unfortunately, it is. It is missing a lid. Now, would it work for one of my little project pieces? I don't know. And actually, I don't want to get too many extra things up here because we only have so much space in the truck. But look at these mugs. That looks like Odagiri. It sure is an Odagiri for 99 cents. We will get him. And then here are some sea turtles. That's also Odagiri for 99 cents. We will go ahead and pick those up. Got some pretty china Harmony House Wembley. It's a beautiful pattern. The prices are right too on that. What is this sand and fog? That, is that a candle? Oh man, I bet that's an expensive candle. I I know I'm not a candle person, but 
Something tells me that's a really good candle. Three, four, five, six, the seven wicks. I'm gonna look this one up, gotta do it. So I'm actually um, not able to get a signal in here, but I am gonna put this in the cart because the worst case scenario, it would be a great gift for Jordan. They have a lot of really cool things here. Oh my goodness. Look at you, you look German. Are you German? There is a little, there's a little tag under there. I mean, a little mark under the tag is what I meant to say. Let's see what you say. I don't want to damage the tag. I want to be able to get it rung up. Mm. Hand painted. I suspect it's going to say German. I don't know why. I don't like most of these type of little figurines, but this one, this one, this one's calling me for $3.99. I think I'll pick him up. And next to him was this Madonna. Now, I don't like her nearly as much. Um, I don't know, the, the paint quality is just not as good. She has only $3.99. Lots of crazing. Now, I do think I'm going to leave her for somebody else. Look at these napkin rings. These look like, like an Andrea by Sadek type. Those are really pretty, but they are, I don't know, three fifty dollars a piece, so that would be $7 for the pair. I will leave those. There's so many things to choose from here. This little Puerto Rico frog. He is very sweet. All right, I, it, I'm gonna have to put my picky hat on because there's a lot of things I could purchase here, but I'm going to have to really reserve myself because I am hundreds of miles from home. And there is only so much of a truck. A tart warmer. He's very funny. He's a caterpillar. For five bucks, there's several. Oh, there's like different, different patterns of them. Those are fun. That's a neat little ring holder. My goodness. Guarantee National Bank. Six ninety nine for that one. Hmm. I have a feeling we're gonna find something really good here. I don't know why. I just I'm getting a getting a good feeling that they get some good stuff here, and probably not a lot of resellers by the looks of it. Here's a bag of shoes. Now I have sold shoes. Oh, and it is just the right shoe. I have sold shoes in my whatnot sales and they have done quite well. And then there's this little lady uh, head. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, there's five shoes and then her for $6.99. I think we will pick those up. I'm always shopping for all of my venues that I sell on one of these trips. I'm, I am shopping for Cherish, I'm shopping for eBay, I'm shopping for whatnot, and I'm shopping for things that go straight into my booth at the store. This is a little quarry critter puppy dog for $1.99. You know I'm picking him up. I also sell many, many things like just straight through email. When this video comes out, uh, I will start getting emails. People want to purchase things, so uh, a goodly portion of things sells that way too. So don't ever think you have to wait for me to list it or sell it somewhere. You can just reach out to me, and I have instructions down in the description of this video of just the information I need and, and how to do that if you'd like to make a purchase. That is Shannon Crystal. Look at this little teacup nightlight. That's really sweet. There was a date on there and I, it's gone now. That is really, really sweet. Oh, look at this guy back here. Is he a hobby piece? He is. He's an older one. Let's see. Oh yeah. 
Mary Stewart. Mary Stewart made this little piece of pottery here, this little ceramic planter. Oh, he's so kitschy and cool. I kind of love him. <laughs> is, that, is that terrible? I kind of, I do. I kind of love him. Mary Stewart, you put some love into this. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to leave you for somebody else. I know I just disappointed some people that loved it too. I love that you guys appreciate some of the things that I do. A little world market box. Oh, he's fun. Oh, he's one of those warmers, I think. Sander there. Scent sations. Scent sations. So you put a little candle here and you warm the wax here. He's actually kind of fun for $2.99. I think I will I will pick him up. Okay, I know, I know. I gotta get my head back around some higher quality things. I can't pick up all of the tchotchkes. Oh no, look at this dilemma. There's another one. This one is to see it. Oh, this one's empty. Okay, this is just the empty candle. Still, God, what a, a beautiful, beautiful, just a beautiful container, too. Hmm. So that just kind of reaffirms I'm making the right choice buying that other one. Those are, those are pretty. I do like the little wood ones, too. Oh, they have some age on them. $1.99. That is wood at the top. It's got it's got a grain in it too. These are these. Oh, it's glued. It's glued back together right there. It's been broken. Okay, never mind on that one. Oh my! Let's see if there's any more cool Odagiri mugs or I just see 1977 and I have to look closer. E. P. Jubilee. I don't know what that is. That sounds very, very specific. Very specific. Minions. Bob Ross. Oh, well, that's not very nice. Heartland Hive. That's a nice mug. Ooh, that's a nice heavy mug too. Who makes you? Sheffield Home. Oh, look at this mug with all the doggies on it. Opal House. Opal House makes some fun mugs. I do like the 99 cent price. It's nice and clean. I always look. Is it nice and clean inside? Can somebody give this as a gift? They can. And I think I shall pick this one up. What's this one here? Just a nice stoneware potter's selection by Ranmaru Japan. It's really pretty. That's the kind though you almost need like a, a, a set. You need like at least two and I don't see another one. Glassware. These are also some cool stoneware stoneware mugs. $2.99 Skull and crossbone glasses. Interesting. I see these a lot, these little German wine tasting glasses. Hmm. One little pheasant. One little pheasant glass. If he had all of his friends. He might be worth picking up. Oh, you guys are pretty. You are pretty and you're vintage. But you are $3 each. And I'm not sure the value is there for me uh, to pay $3 each. So for the set of four, I'd have to pay $12. And I think these are probably worth about... Mm, maybe 20 to 30 for the set of four. 
So can't do that, can't do that. As much as I liked them, had they been like 99 cents or maybe even $1.99, I probably would have picked those up. Those are fun. That color is not the glass though, it's just kind of a stain on the glass and it is coming off. Those are kind of fun and whimsical though. I do like them. Okay, I think that's it for this aisle. All right, we've got some household goods here. Let's see what we can dig up. A matchbox. What kind of car is that? A Mazda. It's a Mazda. All right, that's a fun pepper grinder. Specialty chef. That's really cute and fun, but we are going to not pick that up today. Is that a vintage little coffee pot? It would have had a lid. Oh, I'm tempted. I'm tempted on this one. That's, although it's got a barcode. It's not that old. Okay, no, we're going to, we're going to, we're going to put it back. We're going to put it back. Llamas. They are newer. They're five dollars. We will leave those. What is that? A little handcraft mosaic. I like the way those kind of fit together. Those are nice. <laughs> I have picked up so many things with this glaze. I feel like it should sit like this and be a little planter, but it's not flat on the bottom, so I don't know. I don't know. I looked over here and I, I missed this before. It was on the same end cap, but this is a, it's a tiki mug, but it's carved out of a uh, coconut. It's the Lava Lava Beach Club in Waikoloa, Hawaii. 99 cents. I might have picked this up at home because this is about a, probably like 10 to 12, 10 to 12 on that. Not a bad pickup for 99 cents, but we're staying a little more focused because we have a lot of stuff to get through. And then I spot this little set of salt and pepper shakers with the RV for $4.99. Now, I really don't want to pay $5 for this, but I think this is cute enough. This is going to bring 12 to 15 in my whatnot sale. So I'm going to splurge. I'm going to splurge and I'm going to get the little RV and the truck. This is a really pretty set of, this is cut glass. Now it's not American Brilliant, although some sellers will call this American Brilliant because it is sharp and it is uh, from the 1920s, 1930s, but that is, that is really like the tail end of the American Brilliant period. It's not really what we refer to. The glass is thinner. Uh, I do believe by this time they were using machines to make the glass. They're pretty nonetheless. Uh, it's $2.99 and so $6 and these are interesting enough with the cut, the nice faceted handle and the, the rose cut into these that I think I'm going to go ahead and pick those up because I've actually never seen this pattern before. I also love that many, many of my viewers are loving clear glass now. Maybe it's making a little comeback. Look at this ball pitcher. It's a pottery ball pitcher. We do not know who makes it. It's $7.99. You can definitely see the age with that crazing. And those are some really, really old cracks. Old, old cracks. It's not like you would use this piece anyway. This is a, this is a decorative piece through and through. Um, I just don't know if I want to pay $8 for it, but... It is pretty cool. My goodness, there's just piles and piles and piles of stuff that if I had all day, I might go through a little quicker, but actually on our way to Virginia City, so I don't have a ton of time to shop. Gotta kind of get through here and get what we're gonna get and get on the road, but look at this piece of depression glass. It isn't an amber. Amber is not the most desirable of colors in depression glass. Uh, but this gold, this heavy, heavy gold gilt uh, is quite desirable. And I don't know who makes this pattern, but on these pieces, the, the pattern on the gold is definitely 
uh, one of the ways to identify. And then the handles. All the different companies used a little bit different shape of a handle. So that one could be figured out. I think I can get 25 to 30 for this, so I'll go ahead and pick it up. We've got a whole bag of wood stuff here. Oh my goodness, a whole bag of wood stuff here. Oh, I know what this is. This is one of those multi-tiered nut holder kind of things. Um, so there's, yes, here's like the, the piece that goes on. Hopefully it's all here. That's the part we don't actually know are all the pieces and parts here to make it go all the way up. These are so cool. I don't, oh, there's the price, $6.99. You know what, I think I will, I'll take a chance on it at $6.99. So in case you're new to my videos, at the end, I will recap everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. So stay tuned for that after we get done shopping. I'm looking for a maker's mark on this piece because it's, it's quite interesting. But it doesn't really have the weight that I'd, expect it to have for a piece of size. Now it's funny, this one does. This one has the weight. I feel like this one's got a glass insert and I can feel something shaking around. So that doesn't necessarily tell me the weight of the metal. That one's not quite as fancy. I'm trying not to ignore the metals in the silver plate anymore because I know there is some good value in some of the pieces. So I, that's one of my areas I'm trying to learn more about. I'm trying to see if I can get into it a little bit more. This piece says Carlson. Is it a W Carlson 90? That's a nice piece. I can tell this was done by somebody who knows their craft. It's not like a hobbyist piece where you would see like some inconsistencies in the in the making of the piece. Um, it's It's got a really nice glaze on it. It's got the weight you would expect. And uh, it's $4.99, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that piece. Okay, let's see what other fun goodies they have in this store. I'm pretty excited about this store. This is, this is kind of a nice little score, and it's on the way to Virginia City, so didn't have to go off our path at all. Frigo. Frigo Ver? Frigo Ver. I've never seen a refrigerator pitcher in that. It's made in Italy. It's, uh, oh, Bormioli Rocco, Italy. Oh, well, alrighty then. How much were you? It's got a neat look to it. It's five bucks. I like it. I like it for five bucks. This piece caught my eye. That's interesting. There's a lid. Yeah, they've got it taped on. Do see the lid goes on and then there's like, what would be the purpose of that? I'm intrigued and it does look very mid-century and it's $1.99. I mean, I'm just curious enough about this to buy it for $1.99. Oh, there is so much to see in this store. I can't even begin to tell you how much stuff there is to see. Who makes you? We don't know. I see some ice. Well, I thought I saw some ice bucket. I see a ice bucket. An ice bucket, I guess, if I want to be grammatically correct. It is vintage. It's just, it's just, it's just. <laughs> I don't need that one. That looks like false graph. It's a terrain. Paul's craft is very heavy. I think that's one of the issues against, you know, picking, up, picking it up and selling it because it is very heavy. This looks like a, a moon, like you'd hang the moon. Well, it's, that's, actually, it's really, I am, uh, I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. Oh, there's, uh, there's some writing on it. I, I'm looking at this thinking like if it's not worth reselling, I would I would put this up somewhere because I just really like it. It doesn't have a price. We're going to have to find out when we go to check out. Espresso. 
Smucker's Sunday Cups. Now, why am I pulled to those? I don't know, but I am. No, 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 no. See, in my house, this would be too small for, for an ice cream sundae. That would just never do. We need bigger. Oh, what are you? You look like an anchor hawking piece. Are you? Are you? What do you see in the bottom? Oh, you're very, very heavy. You're starting to hurt my arm. It is microwave safe. So it's not, I mean, microwaves came around in the, oh my gosh. When did microwaves come around? 80s? 90s? How long have we had microwaves? It is kind of a cool piece. It is a little bit on the heavy side though. I would have to sell it at the shop the more I think about it. No, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Oh, why did I think that? See, I was fooled. I thought that was the pattern in the glass because it was shining through. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Hello, birdies. Oh, Japanese. Now, somebody told me that there's a, a language translator that will translate um, Japanese and Chinese writing. Now, there are other ones, but they aren't all the birds. So we've got like persimmons. These are $3 each. Do I like them? $3 each. I know that makes me sound incredibly cheap to say. I'm not so sure. I really just like the bird, but then I would feel bad leaving all the other ones. So do I, do I do it? Do I get them all or do I just get the bird? I think I'm just going to get the bird. Oh, is that wood? It's wood. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of, a lot of damage there. That's too bad. Cause that's pretty wood. That would, all those little scratchings would come back. I'm looking at the 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 base grain of that and kind of the color like that would be super pretty if it was polished up all right i think that is it for the dishes section there's a lot of cooking utensils here noah would have fun in this section i'm always looking at measuring like these came from the dollar store um like tupperware ones Tupperware ones sell really well. They have retained their value. Hard pretzels, and it's just a block. Okay. Well, that's a pretty little spice jar holder with the, oh, I thought that was porcelain. It's not, it's just paper, just paper. There's pots and pans galore on this side. I'm always attracted to these with the copper on the bottom because that's what my grandmother always cooked with. I don't know enough about vintage cookware, you know, value-wise. I'd have to do a little research, and that's what I do. I don't necessarily buy the items, but when I'm editing, I will look things up and, and check out if I should have picked something up, and so I know for next time, and, and that's how I learn a lot of things. So even if you don't want to be a YouTuber, you might consider uh, taking pictures of or videoing some things that you're not necessarily confident in purchasing, but you can go home, spend your time, learn about that and the other things kind of around it and just be able to sock things into your memory banks. That is a candle. More kitchen stuff. There is a lot of stuff on these shelves. Holy moly. Lots and lots of stuff. It's fun. I'm not complaining at all. I just wish I had more hours in a day to see it all. That's all. Found a little bird with a nest. <gasps> Press here. What do you do? Oh, I bet he made birdie sounds at some point. He doesn't make birdie sounds anymore. How much are you? Could bring a little something home to Rachel. Oh, he's $2.99. Okay, we'll get him. Got the Giardelli 
San Francisco Municipal. Oh, it's wood. Oh, would it? I guess it would have held chocolate. Oh, look. Look, 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 look. There's another one. Let's see if this one works. Nope, he doesn't tweet either. No tweeting, but that's okay. We'll take him too. And you might have noticed they did bring out some carts. I have to find out if we are allowed to peek in those carts. Oh my goodness, you know what Will would say. Looks kind of cool. This caught my eye. That's got some 60s vibes going on it. Let's turn it over here and see. What do we have? Well, it is pottery. These are kind of the little kiln marks. It's got daisies all over it. It's got the wear to show that it actually is old. Ceramic. I don't know. It would be hard. That would be hard to ship, though. I'm going to leave that one and look at the elephant. Wow, those are heavy. Elephant salt and peppers for five bucks. These are heavy pottery. Look at look at the, the clay bottom. They're not marked, but they're pretty fantastic. I'm going to grab those. And let's see if there's anything else on this end cap. Pretty picture. It's like a home goods kind of a picture. I did see one more thing up here I wanted to look at. Oh, it holds cassettes. That's cool. Behind me on this little shelf is an elephant wine rack. He would hold four bottles of wine. You think three right off the bat, right? Oh no, he holds another one right here. It's aluminum. It's probably made in India. It's $10, but it's an elephant and I love it. So let's just peek in here. Oh, I see. I see this owl. Look at him. Oh, we have to snag him for $3.99. And this piece. Look at that piece. What a beautiful, beautiful pottery mixing batter bowl kind of a thing for $4.99. Yes, I want that too. Yeah, and I just found a whole bottle. Now there's a mix. There's some like newer contemporary marbles in here, but there are some old ones in here too. And this is just 99 cents. All right, the art looks interesting. Let's see what we got. It's a, ooh, look at all the Native American basketry. I think that's just a postcard in there though. Wild of Hearts. Kind of digging down a little bit because there's just a lot of really interesting things at this store. Like, look at that. Little folk art. Oh, I love when they're signed. It was made in 1989. That was kind of when a lot of people were doing this kind of stuff. Actually, I think I even did some painting. Oh, that is a clown. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, love you more. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Get over here. <laughs> when I get the urge to clean house, I lay down until it passes. That's funny. Oh, are these musical notes? They are. Has never danced in the rain. What's the first part of that? It's sunshine brings happiness. Uh, I feel like there's one missing. I feel like there's more to that saying. Um, a map of Ireland. Survey map of Ireland. 
Oh, we've got some dolls over here. These are interesting. Like if dolls were your things, some of these are definitely have some value. But they just really are not my thing. Large pieces of art down here, but nothing too exciting. All right, we've got more art. Let's see you, pretty little elephant. Just a canvas print. It's got a sweet, you know what? I think the thing you have to look at is the eyes. The eyes are very sweet. That would get somebody to emotionally connect with that elephant. Whereas if it had ugly eyes, yeah, it'd be a hard sell. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was cloisonne for a moment. It's not. It's just enameled, which is still cool, but I don't need to pick that up today. But I might need to pick up the Mickey and Minnie frame. Goodness. For $4.99. I wish they weren't writing in ink on the items. I'll have to play with getting that off of there. But um, usually uh, Disney frames like this are in the 20 to 25 range. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. And then I also found this guy who is just fun. He's $2.49. Are you $2.49 worth? I don't know, buddy. I don't, I don't, you know what? I'll leave you. I'll leave you for somebody who's got a great day and that just falls in love with you. There you go. Another cat one. This one is pewter. Made by... Ashley Manor, which does make some good frames. He is kind of fun. <sighs> My card is kind of full though, so now I'm at that point of pickiness. I mean, I can find that kind of stuff back home, so. Okay, this is intriguing me. What is in here? Little glass pieces to make uh, wind chimes. And you have a water skier oh, without her water skis. I mean, without her boat. $3.99. That's a really nice uh, carousel horse. We'll see if he's overwound. He's not. He's actually in good shape. I think I will grab him for $3.99. Oh, the vases look promising. Look at this guy. $7.99. It is a pretty heavy pottery glass. Hmm, this is my brain just being a little overwhelmed with how much is in this store. And then this piece has me intrigued. Look at this blue summer so. I, oh, I may need two hands. I'm gonna take the fakeness out here so I can get the full splendor of this vase. I'm going to have to put my phone down to look at the bottom though. Stand by. So here's the bottom. Now you can see it's a very, very heavy piece and somebody has dropped it before. Um, so this tells me it's probably just a manufactured piece. Um, it's $15 and I mean it is beautiful. But I just, I'd have to sell this locally. There's no way I'm shipping this. Shipping would probably be 50, 60 bucks on this. Um, it does have a little bit of age on it, it looks like. I don't know, I'm gonna look at it again. Oh, it is really, really pretty, but just because of the weight, I think I'm gonna leave this one. Oh wait, let's put its fakeness back in. Give it its, give it its fakeness. Let's see. What else we got? This is party light. Cute little candles. Oh, it's a teleflora. So, oh, look behind it though. Wait, there's no place to put anything. <laughs> I see. Stick you over there. Look at you. It's a little corgi planter. Well, you know who I'm getting that for. And then there's this, and then I spotted this. 
That would be our friend Pyrex. Yes, yes it would. I don't know this pattern though. I am not a Pyrex connoisseur. I leave that up to my friend Crystal Van Ho who knows Pyrex like the back of her hand. And then she makes beautiful things out of it. Hmm, $10. Is he worth $10? I feel like a Pyrex bowl is worth $10. Oh, we got some 90 Southwest pottery here. Look how thin the top of this is. And it's that really, really thin ceramic. It's beautiful, but I do not want to deal with that today. Succulents. It's a nice piece of pottery. It looks like the date might have been put in there, but I can't read it, but it is signed. I think it is just a studio, like a hobbyist piece. They've done a really nice job with it. It's $7. I think I'm going to leave that one. These are interesting, but they are newer. Hmm. Oh, another nice piece of pottery. Oh, this one is signed as well. Actually, this is not pottery. This is glass. <laughs> wow. It was so thick and heavy. I thought that it was pottery for a moment. I cannot make out that name, but it is a signed piece of glass. For how much? Let's find it. They usually write it on these pieces. Oh, there it is. There it is. It is probably $9.99. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. All right. I like their little end caps full of stuff. Got shells. Oh, it does have starfish in there. $6.99. Don't need it, Danny. Don't need it. Look at these little... I think they're made to be a planter of some sort. It's a little souvenir type piece. Got a piece with Bulacante bubbles in the base. That'd be a good piece for one of my little uh, assemblages. I think I'll grab that. I like these thistles. I like the little blue thistles in this little crock. Came from Threshold. Faux thistle arrangement. Okay, Danny, come on. Don't be silly. Little succulents. <gasps> Look at these little cloisonne unicorn box. Let's see if I can get it open. <laughs> Maybe not one-handed. Maybe not. Okay, stand by. Oh, it's like a little pill box. Oh, that could be problematic. Oh, okay, all right. There you go. Virginia Beach. Strawberry plate that somebody has glued a piece onto. That is not original. Oh, somebody, yes, this is one of those little garden creations people are making. It is sweet. Looks like we're getting into some Christmassy stuff. Those are very hobbyist. Avon. Hmm. Okay, nothing exciting here. Oh, we got a speaker overhead. Hopefully I can talk over that enough. We are in the Christmas section. We'll probably get through this pretty quick. I am doing a Christmas in July sale, but I've got, I've already got a ton of Christmas stuff. I'm kind of saved up for that. So unless something's super special, I am not picking up any more Christmas. I know, I see the pumpkin. I have I have many of those. Many, many of those. Easter stuff. Fall in love. Tabletop decor. Oh, nothing too exciting in this section except maybe. What are you? Sometimes if they are jemmy. These can be worth quite a bit at Halloween time. This one is a Sienna. 
Still might be okay, but I tend to look for the jemmies and the vintage on that kind of stuff. Oh my, the lamp section is exploding with goodies. There are some cute ones. Uh, there, there are some that are intriguing, like these double socket ones. For four ninety nine. dollars oh, Don't do this to me, Goodwill. Look at the plug on that. This screams 1940s to me. Looks like a converted oil lamp on that one. This is actually a nice piece of pottery that was made to make this lamp. You might even be able to, it's loose, it needs a little uh, repair, but you might be able to pull that off and see who the maker of this pottery is. It could be something really good. You know what? I think, I think we can find room for those in the truck. They're $4.99 each. I was also looking at these. They're definitely newer. But it's cute that there's a match set there. We are not going to grab those ones, though. All right. I see Lucy sticking out here. Oh, she's a Christmas Lucy. No Christmas Lucy's. Velveteen Rabbit. Let's see. There's any super special plush. It's got to be super special. I have plenty of plush to deal with. So it's got to be something that just screams, You can't leave me behind. Wasn't this like a advertising thing? Wasn't he? I forget. I forget who the little astronaut, faceless astronaut thing was, but remember that. Oh, remember Vermont teddy bears? They were all the thing for a while. All right. I don't see anything else here. So what are you? Because you're not actually a normal plush. You are weighted like a doorstop. Oweko Tex and your llama with fun llama stuff on you. No, no, no. We don't need you. We're going to leave you. All right, a couple more little end caps here. Going back in over to the toy theme and such. So nothing super tempting on those. Look at these chairs. Oh my goodness. Screaming 70s. That's so what those are doing. There's no maker's tag. Usually you can find it on the cushion. It's probably on the bottom of the chair. Sometimes that's on these older chairs where you would find stuff. But this technique right here, I forget what this is called, but um, and the all the, the brads coming down, like that is so 70s. I just had to peek. I saw this from the back side. It's this big old tall wood, but it's very, very, very damaged, sadly. They have a section up here with things on top of the clothing racks. Looks like a lot of newer stuff. Probably like some store returns type things. A cute crab. Got some more art up on the wall here. Pillows. Hello, pillows. See, I might be enticed by these back at home, but I just don't want to deal with them. And that's okay, you guys. It's okay sometimes if you just don't want to deal with something. You run your own business. So, guess what? You get to do that. Birds. They remind me of the Partridge Family birds. Somebody cut the tags off of them, though. Oh, no, that one has one. D-E-N-Y. Again, these are kind of cool. They'd be, they'd be really great in, like, a 70s uh, themed room. Because they do scream Partridge Family. I might have to end up with these. They are only $3 each. Okay, I'm getting the birds. All right, let's see if I can channel a little dawn of Hudson Vintage here in the jewelry. Yeah. No. Nothing screaming at me. I don't think so.
It's not even any necklaces. It's all bracelets. I know it's a little hard to see through these very, very scratched. The only one that's somewhat interesting is that pin with the blue rhinestones, but it looks newer to me. Just, just in a glance. I found more. I found where the necklaces are. Kind of looking through here. I know it's really scratched. I apologize. Very, very hard to see. Oh, that looks Native American. I might have to have them pull some of these trays out and look through them just a little bit. All right, I picked up a few more. Little enamel on copper. This one is Napier. Yeah, we're done with that. Little tiger's eye pierced. These little enameled copper guys. Look at this little parasol. And I just liked, I just like the look of this. Kind of that coppery gold tone. And then this piece. So more all in like the $3.99 price range. Right, that's gonna about do it for me. Had fun at the jewelry counter. I think I channeled a little uh Hudson Vintage, but uh, here's all my goodies. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
Carson City Goodwill. Good stop. I would uh, definitely do this one again. Checkout was a little precarious. Uh, no paper and the clerks were not in a very good mood. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, so very happy. Everything's loaded up and now I'm on my way to Virginia City. But you're going to have to come back to the next video to see what happens there. So please hit that subscribe button and if you like the video, give it a little thumbs up and I always love comments. So with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.